Blake Store, a loja pioneira na compra e venda de skins de CSGO. A Blake Store tem os melhores preços do Brasil, uma grande variedade de skins e pagamento à vista para qualquer banco. Clique no primeiro link da descrição e utilize o cupom R41 para ter um desconto que vai deixar os melhores preços do Brasil ainda melhores. He hears the reload, he knows exactly where Elige is. Does he hear the rotation towards the heaven position? He does. So he has to reposition as well, but he hasn't got the bomb just yet. And Naf has gone back down the stairs. If he can grab the bomb, then there's even a potential rotation towards Aeon. He's still got 35 seconds. The pillar position is clear, moving to that short area, and Elige will get there first. And that's a very tough pistol for Team Liquid. Quietly was... walking in, five versus two. He falls back before Phelps can do anything or see anything. Liege caught the grenade in his hand, still alive for now. Here comes the support from Stewie. And Cold Zero has seen no one yet. He's in a one versus five. Can't even get around the corner. This boost is very strong. And that is why. <laughs> Some information for Nath. Does he wait for a second player? Oh yeah, he does. Oh, this patience is going to pay off. Can they line up for him? Now he could just wait even longer. He knows Cold is on the site. Don't face the site. Cold's on there. And here's Phelps as well, just needs him to line up. One's in the T water, grabbing the bomb, but he's going to come back. Oh, has he seen him? He hasn't seen him. And there is the master stroke. Beautiful trigger discipline from Naf Line. Wins the, the rotation being heard by first, a free kill for him. That smoke won't be up for much longer, but there are five seconds to plant this bomb. Oh, he's exposed. Oh, no, that's a complete disaster. Not expecting Liquid to be there. And that's another timeout win for the chaps in blue. Oh, man, four seconds left. Plant Sage, Plant really strong. Sage. More defensive setups that are so hard to deal with. And uh, Taco again poking, prodding from the monster tunnel, seeing if he can get some value here. And he will. Catches Stewie on a timing that was not favorable for Stewie, and no one was watching this position. So Taco finally he's created something for his team to work with. Gap in the smoke. Nitro up top. It's one taken out. Three CTs here at the very least. Fur standing in plain sight. Get himself a kill. Phelps on the slow flank. They just need to entertain in the meantime. If he goes towards the balcony, this round is over. And it's a much needed round by MIBR. Here he goes, Phelps, towards that balcony. One player out on the high ground. Doesn't spot a player in the water, though, but surely Nitro can't clutch. It's one versus three. It's too much. And... Okay, the bomb will go down. Lee's creeping. At the full clock. It's going to pay off for him. And... The bomb is a guaranteed... Money bonus no matter what happens and all the MIBR players spilling through the short position and it's looking difficult. Two versus two, a one versus two as Elige now evens things up here. So it's anyone's but Fallen will fall to the superior Glock usage of Elige. He looks to really see perhaps a conclusion to overpass in this Tucker has something to say about it and he does a quick 2k and he has made it a doable clutch as the bomb has just planted. He's got plenty of time, he's got more damage, he's taken almost none himself. He is looking like the juggernaut in this moment and we'll have to see if he can finish that way as well. A single flashbang and a kit, that's what he has to work with. And he has some time to try to find these players, try to force them out. He's got to be so careful. He doesn't know where the second player is. The Molly he could try to go for it. Drop a flashbang or something. Okay, he's baited out one. That's an another frag. The one tap. Another player, though. So much to ask for poor Taco, and he can't do it. 16 to 4. It was a good effort at the beginning of that. So this is crouching from the barrel, and you move Ooh. forwards, and yes. Well, that smoke. Actually. MIBR uh, have been known to throw fake smokes towards the window, which deliberately missed, but I don't think that was one of them. Nitro and Stewie in a two versus four. It's all about the headshots, and there's plenty being offered to Nitro, but can he land them? Stewie's received one. That's not what he was looking for. And Nitro just wants to find one player in isolation. He has no Kevlar, so all he has to lose at this point is a defuse kit. So any money made... Might be pretty good, but uh, this doesn't seem like he'll be getting much done. Now, he could choose to save the Kevlar. I mean, the uh, the defuse kit. There is value in that as well, but he is being hunted, of course. Just can't land the headshot on this. Fallen as well to assist from, from Connector. The positioning here from the T side is pretty excellent. Oh, that's a big kill, though. 
Problem weapon is dealt with. Now down to Fallen to try to delay them. The double peak comes in. Is there enough time? Oh, it's going to no. be incredibly close. I don't think there's time. There's time. Oh, oh he's nailed it. Oh my goodness, he'll have the last. It's going to be wow. the one volunteering the window position. But look at this balcony burst coming in. Now sitting there, talking about aggressive positions. And I don't know how many more he spotted, but he spotted at least a bomb, I think. So all the information. Twists from Ticket providing excellent support. They're all tunnel vision. On that, on that position Ooh. towards the fireboxes. Five. Looks like it will for the, for the last three players at least. You see, Cold Zero takes Nitro out. There he goes Nafly as well. Man advantage suddenly for MIBR. Team Liquid trying to collapse on the bomb site, but there are four smokes around. Every choke point is smoked off in some way or form, but Stewie still finds a kill. Good lineup there through the smoke, I believe. As a leech creeps in through the back, they have no idea. Oh no! Oh no, he's going yes. for the stab as well. Yeah. And maybe if he got, had the gun out, he could actually get that second kill. Who knows, but Stewie certainly will, as it's up to Fur in the apartments. And I'm sure they have a good idea of this because so much info is spotted towards that bench position. And now Fur finds himself in the one versus one. Oh, is he going to hold it? Because that's not going to work. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Seven to eight for my BR. A rough for the market window. It's a jump throw for those wondering. Taco sees a lot, but there are no grenades for MIBR of any kind. They're actually looking for Fallen, but he'll still deliver two headshots. Maybe he's angry after all. Oh my days. They know they, oh. they know MIBR way too well. They got a flash for that. Oh my god. Well, oh my god, the MP9 in connector. That's absolutely outrageous. The trades here for MIBR are just they are battering Team Liquid. My god. I was excited. I'm surprised that MIBR are even entertaining this, but maybe there is a chance now. They somehow fi oh, they're finding kills. I don't even know how. Nitro is in a really bad spot right now in the apartments. They can't easily get to him, and that's a saving grace, and there's no kit. That's another saving grace here. As they try to hold it, he tries to focus the defuser. He gets it. That has to be the round, but so much damage has been done. Oh, my God. They like a slow retake, but they can't go so slow unless a kit is on the site somewhere. Moving forward, there's a deep Molotov that will force Nitro from his position. Twist trying to hide from three players at the same time. Can he buy enough time? I'm not sure there is a Lurker and Nafly towards the Palace, and look at the kills raining in for MIBR. Three frags with no answer. Team Liquid look to have been solved on Mirage late on, as MIBR head to 14. Looks to the left. It's a bad jump if you're a CT to hop on the box, but Fallen has an AWP as well. Anything you can do, I can do better, especially with this weapon. <laughs> what a peak. Just, oh my god. He walks up mid at like 1.30. Oh what goodness. is happening, Fallen? It's so bold. These moves he makes is so bold. Hmm. He walks up mid by himself. No assistance anywhere to be found at 1.30. Just finds that shot at B app's entrance. Unbelievable. Unbelievable round from Fallen so far. And have time to make the duels, but he's, he's burnt too much of his own time. Gets another pick down to 10 HP. The bomb's there on the ground. He doesn't have time to get to the site and plant it. And, and so it's a miscalculation here. Unfortunately, uh, he's going to try to go for it. But there it is. Fallen is waiting all along for the ace. So that does help a lot, knowing that. Phelps blocking down. Construction will be taken down immediately. So. They actually have a path to the kit. Someone should go through that area so they can get the kit. But you know what? They can just frag out as well. And they will do just that. Only fallen left at the back of the bomb side. But we know how dangerous he is. Oh my God. Great flick, but it's not enough to survive the masses. The attack. It's not like there's a guy lurking in the smoke. Winning to kill you all. Oh <laughs> my God. He's right there. And now you're on his head. And now you've run past him. Oh god, Ooh. that is a disaster. The bomb is miles away though, but... Oh man, does the bomb even go to B at this point? They could just try to fake that. Oh. Bomb is so far away, but it will make it this way there eventually. That's the GG smoke. I love that one. Which one? The one I just deployed. That that one. That one. The deep one. That's the, that's the end of the round smoke. <laughs> but it often requires risk to throw it in the first place. Yeah, that's a big hole around the library position. Let's see if it has an effect. A leash too late on the Molotov, or is he? Oh. He's going to get two kills for it late in the round with some bullets, some help from his teammates. 
That might just do the job. Cold Zero left with a Mac 10, but that's a huge headshot from him. He gets an upgrade. I don't know if he's got any sound cues. I think he has for Nafly. Moving up to double stack. A beautiful peek from him. He'll spot the legs, and there's a spray in two bursts, in fact. What they, are, what they will potentially lose should they take a wrong position on the Vespa. Nice, nice, And he's nice. going to go for the blade. <laughs> Just in case, but all of them are still focusing on A. Fur from somewhere, taking Twist out, and Stewie will take out the player on Arch. Elige on the site, inviting a plant maybe with this smoke grenade. Nothing doing just yet. Ford and looking to thin the numbers yet more. Plant attempt is there, and that's actually going to bait out the position of Elige, but the problem is that it's just fallen anyway. He's got limited time here to make the kills happen. How does he do this? I don't think that there's a way to do this. Fallen will try to find the frag. They're wasting so much time. And eventually Fallen will have no options. And stream off against the rest. And he's going to do it there. There goes the bomb on the ground. I don't know what MYBR can do now. Oh my goodness. Battle Sniper Fallen makes it a two versus two. Smokes are up. Fur repositioning. Fallen missing a shot. That leaves Fur with a lot to do. Off angle around the fountain. They're not quite sure where he is at all. Could be a banana, could be on site, could be trying to flank construction, or even in the pool position. Liege waiting for these smokes to go, slowly poking and prodding. There, the information costs him everything. There's a fake flashbang. Swiss going, but that's a beautiful shot from Fur and an eighth round from MIBR. They stopped. But now it's down to his teammates to make it work. A 3v3 retake. They got a kit, they got two smokes and a two frags. I think, were the two frags through the smoke? That is not bad. Oh my god. This is looking real bad for Taco though. Trying to create some cover for himself, not quite working out. And there is a defuse. It looks like it will be six rounds for Team Liquid. Looking like two, three splits of players there. Here come all the flashbangs into the bomb site to support the balcony players as they burst out. But Taco's in the pit position. How many can he get? One! And there's one for Phelps as well, but the trades are even, which will favor the teams overall if they can get rid of Fur. But he is still alive, he's still kicking, he's still doing damage, getting headshots, causing problems, and the rotation is going to make his way in for both teams. Stewie, the late lurk coming in, and he's got so much on his hands. And finally, Fur is silenced, but now it's, it's just Cold Zero. Just Cold Zero. And he does not have any time to pump this bomb. Stuck in the corner, surely he can't find his way out of this one. And he won't. Cold Zero will. Vessels of communication are fatal. Ouch. I don't know how he didn't get that kill. And I'm sure he's wondering the same, but here we are. Three players remain for Team Liquid. MIPR getting dangerously close to running away with this game. The elevation from Cold Zero. Very nice cleanup with the French gun. Trouble Phelps is here to help. Oh There's a crossfire, but it will not be dealt with at all. Liquid brutalizing MIBR. First to the rescue, only good for one frag so far. Maybe Cold Zero can clean up. He's got the bomb in front of him. Fallen's very close indeed. That is a very tight shot from oh Fallen. Oh my goodness. The man just delivers and delivers, doesn't he? He delivers and delivers what some a more. What a turn this around. is how disaster strikes. Uh, ahead of the flashbangs, walking into the smoke. Did they hear him? They're looking around. But what can they find? Ding oh. dong, and another thing. Fur is stealing this round away. What? Oh on his my own. Goodness. I need to get a bit scary because if you lose like this from timeout, that's a problem. And it's the CTs to take the initiative, and that's the problem. This is going very wrong for Team Liquid. What are they going to do? Somehow they still managed to plant the bomb. Do they realize that Phelps is here somewhere? They must because he got a kill early on in Graveyard and down he goes. Making it a two versus two. How are they turning this around? Fur walking top mid. What a ridiculous round so far. The hardship is unbelievable. And with that, just like that. Offering grenades towards the B bomb site, but Fur knows it's a lie. Look at the stack on A. Oh no. With these USPs. Look at that hit drop from Phelps. Picked up an AK. Surely this is it. Nafly versus four. He's got another one by double stack, but he's still alive. Is a time fine. for Rio. Needs another gun. But there's no time. He did the best he could, but that's it. MIBR make it in the last position to London, to land to the ECS final.